Hello, and welcome to another Netflix Picks. Today, we're going to talk about a low-budget independent film that starts out as your run-of-the-mill romantic comedy, but eventually turns everything around and becomes a science fiction movie out of nowhere. The movie is called The One I Love. Whether it's mumblecore or post-mumblecore or whatever you want to call it, this is a movie that is definitely a product of its time. With several low-budget movies being made in the digital age, it's difficult to tell where this one fits in, but it is fair to say that it is damned impressive. With a budget under $1 million, the cinematography, acting, and concept behind this movie are good enough that it feels like a film that was 10 times more expensive to produce. The majority of The One I Love focuses on the story of a couple played by Mark Duplass and Elizabeth Moss. In the midst of a rough period in their marriage, they seek the help of a psychiatrist played by Ted Danson. After some deliberation, he sends both of them on a weekend excursion to a house in the country where they can relax and hopefully rediscover the spark in their relationship. At first, their trip seems like a dream come true, with only a few small oddities to mention. However, within no time at all, they are both experiencing missing time or completely forgotten events that each swear did not happen. Eventually, they figure out that something strange is going on and they attempt to take control of it before everything gets out of hand. The funny thing about this movie is that Netflix doesn't give even the slightest hint to the many twists and turns you will experience. The description on their service is pretty basic and only describes roughly a tenth of the actual concept behind the one I love, ignoring some of the most important aspects of the movie. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but it was definitely effective at making me surprised when I actually watched the movie. Needless to say, it was not what I was expecting. According to Duplass, most of the dialogue in the film was improvised and the actual script was just a series of scene beats and locations. I'm sure the overall plot development was in there, but it's interesting to know that all the deep and emotional scenes between the two main characters are mostly improvisational. Considering how well they did, it's actually quite impressive that the dialogue was so excellent. Shot on location at Ted Danson's house, this is definitely an intriguing movie that is sure to impress both fans of romantic comedies and sci-fi lovers alike. Check out The One I Love on Netflix today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Netflix Picks.